What is good, everybody? It is your boy, Lord Williamson, coming back to you with another one. And y'all already know the drill, man. New month, new country, all right? Y'all know how we getting down, man. So we, we out here. And when I say new country, I've been to the country, you know, but I was really in one specific city, which I love and I will be going back to. Better believe it. That being said, man, I am in a beautiful country of Colombia, baby. And we are in Bogota, to be exact. But right now, we are in Parque 93. All right, this is a spot that you're going to see me in a lot because this is the hot spot, as they like to say, man. But today, y'all know the drill, man. If you've been to my channel, you know every time I touch down in a new city, we are giving y'all the first impressions. Number one, first and foremost, the weather here is completely different. The weather here, you know, you got to have your little jacket on, you know, in Medellin, you know, and especially in Cartagena. I don't even think people own jackets in Cartagena. This place looks like a, you know, a very business oriented city. Y'all always be getting on my ass when it comes to these first impressions. And so keep in mind, it's literally my first impressions, meaning my first thoughts. A lot of y'all in the comments be like, that's not correct. I know, mother excuse my language. I know it's not correct. It's a guess. So get off my sack. So right now, I'm going to give you guys the rundown, man. I came to Bogota, number one, because I've never been here, and I've heard good things about it. A lot of people, when they travel to Colombia, they only hit two spots, and that's Cartagena and Medellin. Another reason I came to Bogota is because I want to get a tattoo. If you don't know, Colombia has some of the best tattoo artists, so I wanted to get a tattoo. You know, usually I go a month, but this time I'm going to be a little longer. Number one, if you're looking to save money, there are certain cities that you can go to to you know really reap the benefit especially if you're getting paid in USD you can hit up Colombia you can definitely hit up Argentina you know and a lot of places in South America I have a huge trip that I'm doing in April it's gonna be lit man I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm just gonna pop out I'm gonna let y'all guess in the comments if y'all can if y'all guess right I'll send you ten dollars on cash out so I'm gonna be here for ten days like I said this is my second day I got here this morning after that I'm gonna head to Medellin and that's where I'm gonna get my life right I know I always tell y'all that after that we're going to go to Bed and Kia. We're going to hit the Carnival Festival, man. Y'all got to stay tuned with that. I'm super excited about that. Crazy Carnival Festival they're doing Bed and Kia. Then we're going to hit Cartagena. You know we got to go back to Cartagena. Uh, so we got a lot of things planned, man. I plan to be here for a month and a half, maybe longer, and uh, just vibe out with me. Also, I want to put y'all on a little game, man. I'm going to always put y'all on game. I'm not one of them people that want to hide secrets. But if y'all got anything, y'all make sure y'all get this. If y'all got some good credit, make sure y'all get that Venture Capital One card. And if you can't get the Venture X, I just was in the airport for like three hours yesterday with my card. I got access to the Capital One lounge. If you get that Venture X card, you're gonna be able to get into plenty, plenty of lounges. Hey, get you a credit card. Capital One lounge, lit. Hey, I walked over to the bar. I said, hey, this is my first time in here. What do I not have to pay for? You know what I'm saying? And then she was like, well, you can have a bottom shelf. And I was like, what about Jack Daniels? She said, that's top shelf. But we do have Texas bourbon as whiskey, but it is very strong. So I wouldn't suggest you drink that before a flight. Can I get two Texas bourbons, please? <laughs> I get benefits for everything I do from travel, points, Airbnbs, all that. So tips, man, if you're, if you're new to a city, definitely walk around, man. If it's walking distance, try to skip the Ubers because you're really gonna be able to see a city. But I know nothing about the city, y'all. Literally, I know nothing about the city. I'm just walking around, you know, gallivanting, I think that's the word you can use. And off the rip, man, one thing I will say about Bogota, it be raining out here, man. You can tell by the way people are dressed. I see people carrying umbrellas, people in ponchos. But yeah, man, it feels good to be alive, man. The end of the year didn't go as I planned. You know what I'm saying? I had some setbacks uh, that I'll talk about later on in life. But on a positive note, the last video I did for my first impressions in Dominican Republic, y'all definitely showed up and showed out. That went low-key viral. Um, so I appreciate you guys for that. And shout out to all my Dominicans, man. Y'all y'all follow the kid, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm definitely going to come back. One thing about this place that I can already tell is it's, I mean, guys, it's, what time is it? It's about 11 o'clock on a Saturday, and all the restaurants that I've went to have been closed. <laughs> What's up with you guys, man, in, in Bogota? Y'all talk to me, man. Why y'all open so late? Y'all don't get y'all asses up. One thing I will say off the rip about Parque 93 is they have a lot of fancy restaurants. And I'm not really, I'm a foodie, but I'm not really into the fancy restaurants at all. 
you know, I could do without the big ass plates with the little thing on the side. They put a little bit of uh, sauce on it and call it food. Nah, I need, I'm a grown man. I'm 6'1, 200. You know what I'm saying? I need me some food. So right now we're about to find some Colombian food. I've been fiending for it. Hopefully it's good. Check the view out, man. y'all know about the spot so i did find a bar that's pretty dope man i believe it's called district bar they got a nice little setup for you man check it out all the tvs got a little ping pong action over there just a little traveler's tip it's always good to find a sports bar the first few days you're in a new country because you never know what games are going to be playing back home and if you're a sports fan like me you need to see the super bowl playoffs etc when you're coming to bogota don't bother buying nice shoes because the rain does not stop trust me i can't i can't even drip like that in the rain baby how i'm supposed to drip when it's dripping <laughs> Michael Jordan, these niggas are Scotty Pippen, but it don't matter because they still winning. D Come on, man. Let me stop. Y'all know I'll be ready to freestyle. If you ever meet me in person, tell me to pull out my camera so we can have a freestyle battle and I'll decimate anybody. Nobody wants that smoke with me unless you're just like that. Reasons I love Colombia as a whole. You get good food for great prices, man. Whenever you're living abroad, you got to take all this into consideration, man. So I just had a beer. I just had a water. I just had a whole hen of chicken. And it came out to about $13 with tip, man. That's the reason I love Colombia. You get good food for a good price, man. I still feel that the quality of life here is way better than America. And also that's saying if you do have a good job, you know what I'm saying? If you are able to travel and you are blessed enough to live this life, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely good for you. So I'm about to head back to my apartment, unpack a bunch of my stuff. And then just decompress for a little bit. Probably start editing this video, man. Y'all know I'm trying to drop them videos like NBA Youngboy do mixtapes, man. So far, first impressions here. It's a real chill city. Not a lot of chaos going on. And when I say chaos, I mean like super busy. Right now it's a Saturday and I'm in one of the busiest spots in Bogota. And there's hardly any people here. They do have nice establishments. They have a lot of places to eat. A lot of places to drink. Very chic restaurants. And granted, I am in the, you know, the tourist area. I don't know, I could be wrong, but in my experience, you know, this is the capital city of Colombia, and a lot of capital cities are more chill than the lit cities. For instance, Medellin, it's a zoo. And when I say that, I mean that in a good way too. Like it's, it's crazy. Cartagena, lit 24 seven. I feel like a lot of capital cities are more business oriented. You can tell it's a more business oriented place. Usually, you know, I like to get comfortable. I like to be in a spot where I can, you know, chill out, relax. This spot, I just got like, it's kind of like a hotel room slash Airbnb, but they say they have a gym. Let's, let's check it out. Ain't too much, ain't too much you can do, but do have a little sauna as well, okay. Come in here and get your dance on. Don't do too much, baby. I'm about to chill for a second, and then we out tonight for the final impressions of our first impressions, if you dig what I'm saying. Peace. What's good, people? It's your boy, Lord Williamson, coming back to you again. Still my first day in Bogota, still getting to learn the city, seeing what they got to offer. Um, tonight, we are going to Zona T. If you've ever been to Medellin, it's like the Provenza area. So we're going to Zona T. I'm going to grab me something to eat real quick. And they say the nightlife here is pretty decent. So I'm going to be the judge. To me, from what I see, the city is super chill. This is a spot where you would come, get you a girlfriend, raise you a family, you know what I'm saying? White picket fence, all the good stuff. But, like I said, this is my first impressions. I'm going to see what the nightlife has to offer, and then over the course of 10 days, I'm going to see if my perception changes, all right? Make sure you drop a comment, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe if you're watching me. Don't be a hater. You can't be a hater all your life, man. It's Laura Williamson. Let's go. All right, man. So we are outside Zona T right now in Bogota. I've been doing a little bit of research, and there was this square, that's, which is right behind me. Um, it's called Fresh Market. I think it's called Caruya. 
I think I'm saying that right. But this is a spot where people come and chill before they go to the club. You know, definitely a good scene. So that's the market right there. Everybody goes to get their liquor. Everybody goes to get their beer. And then they come out here and they just chill and drink. So yeah, this is definitely a spot where you would come with a couple of friends. Honestly, it's a perfect pregame spot. If it's not raining, people are just chilling. Man, you come get you a couple of brews, get you some whiskey, you know, get you some tequila and just come out here and post up, man, and see what happens. And then whenever y'all get that, whenever y'all get good and ready, you take your ass in the club and have a ball, man. Um, so that's one of the things that I really like about uh, Latin countries or even foreign countries. You don't have to spend money so much. So whenever you're going out to a club in America, you gotta go to the pregame. You gotta get you gotta get the bottle for the pregame. You gotta leave the pregame, go get something to eat while you still pregaming for the postgame. Then you gotta go to the actual game. You feel what I'm saying? And you just spending frivolous money. It makes no sense, man. But we're gonna walk this strip, man. Like I said, this is Zona T. Um pretty dope spot, man. say this it is more lit than I expected they outside tonight people is outside for sure there are a lot of places you can go you know a lot of places where they playing reggaeton shorty out here selling that thing she talking about some massage now nah, I know what you want to massage girl Man, I can massage myself so zona T is definitely bigger than what I expected this is why I say first impressions is definitely is important because as you can see my my impressions are changing right now and the reason i say that is because i'm shocked you know i went one i went one block over and there's plenty of people okay you too que es tu nombre amigo cristian eh yo vivo aquí tu vives aquí si sí, trabajando en la zona rosa Hey, y'all make sure, be careful when all, like, people out here hustling. Like, that's what they do. I already knew what type of time he was on. Cool dude. The nigga just took some, nigga just took some Tusi. They call it Tusi out here. If y'all ever seen a pink, pink drug out here, the mother just gonna sniff it like some coat. Hey, dude, leave it alone. Do not fuck around with that fuck around, all right? Or you will find out. They see foreigners out here and they instantly take them to where the girls are selling that thing. And if you don't know what selling that thing means, it's right here. So, uh, Bogota definitely has a nice nightlife scene for the dudes that can't get none and just want to pay for some. Or if you can get some and just want to pay for some, they got that for you. Um, and then they got the chill spots, and then they got the more upscale spots. That was surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, to end up with my first impressions, definitely got my mind changed. Definitely plenty of places to go out in nightlife. To me, Zona T is a little bit better than Park A93. Um, but you know, you can make that judgment for yourself. That being said, y'all stick around, man. We're going to get to it. It's your boy, Laura Williamson. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, man. Peace.